Hi guys, welcome back to the art of trading.net. This is Trader Stewie with you here again. Um, I want to do a video um, about you know just the trade that we did this week um, here at the service. It was a trade that um, turned into an alert. Um, you know, this is a it's a, it's a stock uh, symbol is D A N G Dang. It's one of those Chinese stocks, you know. So very 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 volatile. Very very you know it's a it's once once a stock like you know like a, like a dang something that has you know very high short interest you know dang has over 30 percent short interest you know that's a very very high high short interest level you know so when a stock w with that kind of short interest once it starts to show you hints that it, that it's putting in a bottom or that maybe the longs might might start to get aggressive you know this is the kind of play that i usually i usually get very very interested in because because I know once they start moving in a direction, they keep moving in that direction. You know, so these these are perfect momentum candidates for trading. Um, so anyway, let's get let's get to it right away, guys. So it symbols Dang D A N G. It's a stock I've been watching for quite a while now, um, and actually I've been watching it. And actually I, I've we've issued um, I, on my watch list for for quite a while. I've been watching the stock as a short actually on a break of support here. So I mean, and as you can see here, it fell down quite, you know, quite aggressively. I mean, literally, it almost fell down about 50% in just maybe like two weeks. So right away, you know that the stock is is starting to get very, very oversold. You know, I mean, you never want to you never want to be holding a stock that looks like this as it's going down, but you want to pay attention to it, you know, and then see if maybe a bottoming formation or a bottoming play can start to come in. And as you can see here, the stock fell down hard and then start to chop around here sideways for a while. And, and, then for, and then what we saw here is we saw a break of the lows here. And then, but quickly what we saw, as soon as it broke the lows, look at that guys, the very next day, the stock came back right back above these lows. So, and look at the volume. So you, 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 you saw a huge spike in volume right here as the stock broke the lows but it never it, it, it the breakdown never sustained so that was a failed breakdown just like you see failed breakouts this was a failed breakdown in other words when you, when you see a failed breakout you know the you know you, you typically don't want to be holding a stock after the breakout has failed because chances are sellers are going to come in and they're going to knock the price down so you 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 know you, know, you want to make sure that you, you know you're protecting yourself from from further losses on a failed on a failed breakout however now if anybody who's shorting this anybody who shorted a breakdown here and then they see they see this action here on this candle the first thing they're thinking right now is like uh oh i want to get out because it looks like this is a failed breakdown huge volume coming in and when you have 30 when you have over 30 percent of this of the shares in the in the stock are short so you know right away you need to be thinking about getting long this getting long in a position here. So, so this was this this was this was one way to play it. I did not play it like that right away. I waited, I waited a few days, and I allowed the stock you know to just show show me that it's it's you know it's it's able to find some buyers you know. So as you can see here, the volume came in pretty nicely. It had two up days here. So right now we're looking at a bottoming formation. See that. So after a sustained move down, some choppy sideways, a failed breakdown, and then now now a move back up on heavy volume. So right away now I'm thinking this is a bottoming formation play. So now let's see if we can spot a pattern here by connecting some lows with some highs. So as you can see here, we have here a high here, another high here, another high here, and then we have a little mini one here. So that to me shows that this is a clear, clear, trend line here that if we break this trend line right here i know that this stock is going to squeeze even further probably find even more volume which would be a combination of new buyers and new shorts covering their covering their positions so as as high as the volume is here you know i had i had a hunch that if we break back above this trend line and not only that guys noted look at this this red line here this is the 20 period moving average and as you can see here it's been trending down for quite a while now so I knew that if it, if this stock can somehow get above, you know, the, these highs right here, this trend, this trend line of highs, and the twenty day, the twenty day moving average, so I was confident a good trade would come out of this one. So that's what I was looking for. 
So I set, I set the alerts. I sent, I sent this setup to my subscribers. I even sent it on Twitter too, um, you know, for an alert to, to basically to get long, let's say like over 13. So over 13 on a breakout above this area right here is when, is when I, like the alert would trigger. So basically, I was watching the stock very, very closely. And indeed, it did break above it. So this was, this was what the stock looked like before the breakout. Okay, now let me show you what the stock looks like after the breakout. The, the very next day. Okay, here's what it looked like the very next day. Okay, now watch this guy. Same pattern right here. We're connecting the highs for this bottoming formation because of this volume now. A failed breakdown over here which means that now we're potentially looking at a bottoming formation. And look at that, guys. Look at, look at the volume. Exactly what we were looking for. A huge spike in volume as the stock broke above th this, this trend line, which connected these highs right here. So this was a very, very key breakout, guys. And not only that, also the 20-period moving average. Okay. Now notice, the 20-period moving average has been declining for a while now. But as you can see, take a look at the slope now. Take a look at the slope here. You see that it's no longer falling, but it's starting to it's starting to base out and move sideways. So that tells you that there's a change of character in the in the stock. So the stock is starting is starting to take on a different look now. So that tells you that this stock is indeed could be a mover and to the upside now because we're seeing a lot of things coming, a lot of positive action coming into this position. And look at this, guys. It broke above 13, took it out. So technically, the buy would have been at 13. You know, I waited a little bit because I, I was managing other positions and I don't like to manage too many stocks, you know, when I'm trading. So I had to wait till I, till I got out some other ideas before I took a look at this one. I know that some members at the artoftrading.net bought this one very, very uh, early, like around 13 or in the high, on the high, in the high 12s because that, that, that's what the setup called for when I sent it out. But for me, I just wanted to wait and, and just kind of get, get more confirmation about this trade before I entered it. And as you can see here, guys, so we did break out. Volume was indeed huge. This was very, very positive. So right away, well, right when I see something like this on the daily chart, so as you can see here on the daily chart, so you can see here it broke out above 13 on the daily charts right away. I want to zoom into the five minute chart and take a look at the action much, much closer. I want to dig in deeper. Into the into the mini time frames, and then look for a good entry or a good you know a good a good area where I can enter with you know with low risk hopefully, and so this was the day that the stock broke above the 20 period moving average and that trend line. It was on this day right here on July 6th. So you can see here it gapped up, huge volume on the gap up. Look at that it gapped up from yesterday's close, huge volume, and the stock immediately starts to run. So on on strong volume. So this to me is very, very positive. This is exactly what you want to see. And as you can see here, guys, the stock, when, you know, when a stock is in a very, very strong trend like this, this is the five minute chart, by the way, the, the, when a stock is in a strong trend like this, usually what a stock does, it will pull back and then test the 20 period moving average. So you can see here, it's a strongly high, uh, high sloping upward to a 20 period moving average, came back down and tested it. So this is what I was watching for. I was watching for this test right over here. And I saw that the test was successful. You know, a, a good entry would have been actually to buy it on this test right here and put a stop loss, you know, underneath these lows here. Um, I, I waited a little bit longer because the stock did not really catch my attention to the start to gather momentum to the upside here. So basically, we entered long here around that 1340, 1350 area. This is where most members entered. This is where I issued the the email trade alert was to enter it right here. So about here on that 1345, 1340, 1340, between 1340 to 1350. That's where, that's where myself and most members entered, entered the position right here. And we decided to put a stop loss right underneath the lows, the lows, um, uh, right underneath the lows of, of uh, so we put a stop loss at, at um, 12, 1295 that was my stop loss so 1350 was entry stop loss at 1295 which was which was you know somewhere around underneath these lows right here so you can see this was my thinking here is that you know we have a low right here you know we entered a position here this was an intraday low right here so we figured put a stop loss 
you know, you don't want to put a stop loss on a round number like 13, you know, because a lot of stocks, you know, could, could, you know, they could come down to 13. You want to put it a little bit lower, maybe like 1295, 1290 would have been good. You know, so we put it, we put the stop loss right around right here and it should, you know, went long here and then we just waited. You know, you, you have to trust that the daily chart, that this daily chart, this action, this huge volume, the fact that it has a 30, you know, 35% short interest, you know, this is something very, very positive. This is what you want to see when you're trying to enter a new long. You know, you want to you wanna see that there's lots of shorts in the stock because you know once the stock starts to go up, these shorts are going to have to cover their positions. And when they cover their positions, this stock is going to probably going to explode higher, you know, and much faster, you know, because shorts, they're not going to sit there and, and watch their losses, you know, accumulate. You know, they're basically going to cover their positions. They're going to run for cover. And when they run for cover, that position is going to explode higher. So basically, we entered here. The stock started to work initially. You know, this is exactly what I tell what I tell every, all my subscribers is you, you, you want to focus on the stocks. You know, you want to you want to when you see a stock, when you enter a position, the stock starts to work right away, like within minutes of entry, within like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. If the stock starts to respond right away, you know, with your entry and with your, anal you know, I mean, with your analysis, then you know that you might have a good trade on your hand. You know, I always say that you know, focus on the trades that really, really work right off the bat. You know, these are the ones that could be huge winners, you know, if, if you manage it well and, you, you know, I mean, and you, you just stay disciplined in, 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 by raising stops and, you know, you know, all, all these things, guys, you know. So basically, it started to work initially. And then, so we, we had a nice gain. You know, if you were a scalper, maybe you would have taken gains here, but that's not what I was shooting for. You know, the, this trade, I called for it to be a swing trade because I really, really had lots of confidence in this action right here. You know, I knew that when I see this kind of volume, a break of the 20 day period moving average, the stock is changing its character and it's starting to show me strength now. You don't want to, you don't want to like, you know, you, you don't want to settle for maybe like 20 cents. You know, you want to see if you can get a little bit more out of the stock because clearly momentum, the wind is in your back, you know. So, you know, for a trade like this, you know, I recommend being a little bit more aggressive, you know. So basically, and, and the stock came back down here, but for me, th that did not really bother me. You know, first of all, it, st it stayed above our stop loss. You know, it stayed very close to our entry. It's, that did not really bother me much because I was looking at this as a swing trade. So for me, I didn't mind giving up a little bit of profit here because, you know, I just, I just had a feeling like if I just trusted the, the pattern and trusted what I was looking, what I was looking at and the volume that was coming into the stock, that I knew that there was, there was going to be more gains to come in this position. So basically, and then what really, what really solidified my analysis is when I saw this. As you can see here, guys, so the stock came, came down, tested, you know, an area around that 1320 area. And look, look, look at this, guys, towards the close, the stock started to, to rally. And look at this. So there was a pickup in volume as the stock approached the close. So that told me, indeed, there was some shorts that were still interested in getting out. And there was some new longs who were interested in getting in. So this was a perfect combination for a swing trade here, guys. So this gave me lots of confidence to hold this position overnight. So 1340, 1350 was the entry. It closed around, it, that day it closed at 1350 exactly, okay? So we were back to around break even on the position. However, look at this, guys. The very next day, indeed, volume did come in just as aggressively as the day before. The stock gapped up about five or six percent, and it started to run right away. So immediately, I, I emailed subscribers to raise their stop losses, and so basically, a lot of a lot of people got out around that 1470, 1460 area. I got out around that 1420, 14, 1430 area. I got out like right, right around this gap is where I personally sold the position, but. A lot of subscribers, you know, they by the time they got the email alert or, you know, whatever, they they wanted to babysit a little bit longer. They kept raising their stops. And this ended up being a very, very big trade for many subscribers here. And but basically, guys, and, and, and I would say, you know, you always want, whenever you get, whenever you see a big gap up like that, you want to at least sell half. You want to sell quarter. You want to sell three fourth. You want to at least raise stops. You know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be greedy. You don't want to be undisciplined. You know, this is where it matters most on a big gap up like that. The last thing you want to see is a big gap up with a nice gain and then see it fade down on you, you know. So you want to stay very disciplined, raise your stops, keep moving, moving them higher until you get stopped out, you know. So it's just, it's just a matter of just sticking to the discipline and not being greedy when you have a nice position on a nice trade like that. Just don't be blinded by profits and just stay disciplined.
you know and because i mean there 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 will be more trades like this you know what you know you know whether you, whether you, whether you, whether you exited early or not as long as you know how to spot you know this pattern and as long as you know how to spot you know a, the action and you, and you're following stocks that you know that that have the right criteria for momentum you know then i think you're on the right track you know so anyway guys i hope this helps this is a video i wanted just to discuss about a trade that we did here so I hope this helps and I promise we'll do more videos in the future. Okay, good luck.